I'm a bay hunter for yeah. him. He's been hunting bays, but not very for good at it. For 22 years. I'm cool with dating a fan. And although I've never had to use it, I do know how to hide a dead body. Some people think I'm a real life mermaid. So awkward, god dang it. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. I'm Sam, I'm 22. I'm Colby, I'm also 22. And uh, I'm here to pick his bay. We're ghost hunters. We are ghost hunters on YouTube. On the tube. Yes. What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. It just got cold, something just passed in front of me. Okay. Wait, whatever we just summoned in there is here. I'm a bay hunter for yeah. him. He's been hunting bays, but not very for good For 22 at it. years. So we were so. band nerds, crushing on a senior girl. Couldn't talk to her, so we decided to talk to each other. Yeah. He's the best wingman of all time. Thank you, and yeah. he's like a pretty good one. Number one and number two wingman in the world. In You'll the world. decide. Well, I like confident, adventurous, loving, caring, Nice, friendly, outgoing, someone that can listen to me and let me land on their shoulder if I ever need to cry. All right, we're looking today for someone he can cry with. I cry a lot. I cry at least once a week for a couple hours. Mm -hmm. I have the apartment right next to him and I can hear him sometimes. Um, it's pretty sad, honestly. End of list. <laughs> the only Sick. trait we need is someone he can cry with. Actually, I really like Ariana Grande. Really? Or Demi Lovato, she's pretty cool. You have never once said either. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't have a celebrity crush, up. all right? I'm On just making spot. it up. Dude, Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani! That is your oh my god, crush. I love Gwen Stefani. She, she is, doesn't even know his own crush. She's beautiful. If if Sam can't pick me a bay, I'm quitting Sam and Colby. And it's just gonna be Sam and. You better do good, you better find me a bay. I'm great to find you on a bay. All right, let's get let's started. Let's go. Oh, I almost found this. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm freaking out. Oh my god. Here we go. How many is there? Is like 40? There's, there's at least 45. Hello, my name is Agustina. I'm 19 years old, and some people think I'm a real life mermaid because I'm from the beach, Uruguay, South America. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, my name is McKenna. I'm 21 and I was chased by a bear when I was 10 or 11 years old because I was at sleepaway camp and I shouldn't have run from it in the first place. Haven't fought a bear, but honestly, that bear lost. Like, I obviously outrun it, ran it. Like, I'm here today. Hey. <laughs> Hi, my name is Pamela. I'm 21. I'm originally from Ohio and I love to play volleyball, basketball, and I like to sing. Hi, my name's Lainey, I'm 19. I've injured my hips four times playing softball, track and field, and twice at a concert. Okay. Hi, my name's Andrea, I'm 20 years old, and I have five exotic pets my landlord does not know about. I have two rabbits, I have a mouse, I have a rat, and then my cat I threw in there because she's really weird. A rabbit's exotic? The vet bills are expensive, so they're exotic. Hi, my name is Juliana, I'm 22 years old, and I have a secret website where I write all the crazy weird stories that have happened to me before, like getting chased by a car on foot. I was just minding my own business at night at a park, probably a bad time to be there, but this random car pulled up, started screaming at me, and then started chasing me down like a hill. Luckily, my friend lived nearby, so I ran into her house. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tiana. I'm 21 years old. I'm a Southern country girl from Louisiana, and I can move my ears. You want me to move my ears? Yeah. <laughs> That's impressive. Hi, my name's Imani. I'm 18, and I once drove a car on top of a hill and almost hit a pole. Hi, I'm Izzy, I'm 19. I have opposable toes, a morbid sense of humor, and although I've never had to use it, I do know how to hide a dead body. Mm. Gotta go, actually. <laughs> hey, I'm Natalie, I'm 21. I'm a photographer, and I can picture you and me together. Ooh! <laughs> oh, there's definitely some winners here. But Is there a bay for me? There's gonna be a bay, but they're gonna have to fight for it. Oh, so. Oh. So I like people that know how to hide dead bodies and are also mermaids. All right, ladies, I've got some questions for you. Let's get started. First question, because you guys say that you know us, when is the last time that you watched a Sam and Colby video? Honestly, I haven't watched your videos in a while, but I'm always looking for hunting scary things that I can watch at night, and your videos are always like my top five. Top five, all right, we got it. I didn't know you guys were gonna be here today, I'm surprised, but I was binge watching your videos last night. Almost 
almost like it was meant to be. Mm. <laughs> so the last time I watched your video is with Kian and JC. And after that, I kind of got scared because I was worried about you guys getting possessed again. So I was just, you know what? I don't want to see that again. So let me just stop. All right, that's understandable. I'd say the last time I saw your videos, probably about like a week ago. Um, not a frequent watcher, but I am subscribed. Hey, that's what counts. So I'm not like a really frequent watcher, but I remember, I don't remember if it was you printing a whole bunch of pictures of Kobe or Kobe <laughs> printing a whole bunch of people pictures of Sam. Yep. But that video. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Good one. <laughs> Sounds good. So the last video I watched of you guys was probably like two days ago and I saw the one of you guys going in like a slip and slide in this like abandoned tunnel. Oh. Which I would have totally been down for, so like hit me up next time. You're invited next time. Let's Lit. Do it. <laughs> I watched your videos four days ago. I watched the video where you guys were at the hotel and you were talking to the front desk lady about the creepy stuff that went on and there was like a lady in black and y'all yeah. went on the 10th floor and y'all had two other guys with Built you. Built more hotels. Yeah. Scary. Real scary. It was a bad one. So the last video of you guys that I watched was probably five days ago and I watched the Biltmore Hotel one. And hey. Yeah, and also the one where you guys went into the woods. Oh God. Yeah, there are a couple of those, but I love your guys' videos. Hey, thank you. So last night my roommate, one of my roommates was like, oh my gosh, Sam and Colby are in New York, oh my god. So I was like, oh, I should like watch them again because I had been watching it and kind of fell down like a rabbit hole of older videos that I missed when I was in college. So I watched them with like coyotes coming out because I'm like, oh yeah, oh, coyotes god. are fun. That's an old one. <laughs> That's an old one, but a good one. So the last time I watched your videos was probably about a week ago when I went on like an exploring binge watch kind of hey. marathon. I'm cool with dating a fan because like, Think about it. I wouldn't want somebody that's not a fan of me to date me, <laughs> right? All right, ladies. So, <clears throat> Colby always says that he likes to date fans. Yeah. So, uh, we want the closest and most diehard fans here today. So, the people that have watched our videos the least frequently, I guess, were around here. But I think you were saying that you don't even remember the last time you've seen a video. No, I said a couple months. A couple months. <laughs> so a couple months and a couple months. So I'm probably going to have to go with the mermaid. <laughs> oh, bro. Sorry. The mermaid. All right. Oh. Good luck finding a mermaid. Hey. Oh. <laughs> this is so it's sad. It's so sad. This is so sad. I got eliminated first because I haven't watched their videos recently, which makes me sad because I DM'd them once and they didn't answer, so I can't stop watching them, but it's fair. Maybe I go back home and watch them. He's gonna find many fans, but he's never gonna find the mermaid. All right, ladies, bays, future bays, what is your scariest ghost experience if you've ever had one? Okay, I actually went to New Orleans for Mardi Gras um, a few times, and one time that I went down there, we did a haunted hotel tour, and ever since then, I've been like, with chills. We went on one hotel tour, and I just felt this entity around me. Okay. Kind of scary, don't oh, know. <laughs> New Orleans is scary. Yeah. So my scariest experience is when I went back to Indonesia with my parents, my grandparents live there, and they're really into like spirits and everything. Mm -hmm. And so when I was staying with my grandparents, their kitchen doesn't have a door, so when you enter through it, so I was in the bathroom, which is next to the kitchen. I heard a slam, but there's no door. So that kind of freaked me out oh. and I had to sleep with my parents. God. <laughs> yeah. Imaginary doors, mm -hmm. that's very scary too. <laughs> my childhood home was like definitely haunted. Uh, with a ghost that I named Peter, so like we're cool now. Oh yeah. But like oh, yeah. growing up, my bedroom was at the end of the hall, and I could like see the stairs coming up, and my bed was positioned like right at the door. Oh god. And so I like. Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> felt like I saw a little thing moving up the stairs, and then I started drifting off, and it sprinted up into my bedroom and like screamed, and it was really terrifying, and I didn't sleep for the rest of the night. And oh god. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. So you and Peter are not cool? Not cool, but like we were. You were. <laughs> we were. And then you scared Not too homies much. anymore, not okay. chill. So one time, me and like all my friends were in one of my friends' basement and we were playing with the Ouija board because their basement is creepy. Like stuff falls off other places and like it's just creepy in there. And we asked the Ouija board if there was someone there. It said yes. And we were like, do you want to hurt us? And it said yes. So I was like, I got to go. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> So randomly, I was in Missouri, and my friends took me to this place called Zombie Road. I don't know if you've heard of it, 
um, but it's closed at night. It's like a regular park, people jogging during the day. So we walked like two miles. I literally was shaking, like almost crying just because I can't handle anything and nothing had even happened yet. But then this like, I don't know if it was a deer or a man on all fours, something walked up to me and like its eyes were reflective and I, I was not okay. We had to walk two miles back. I almost called the police on myself. Like I did not, <laughs> did not want to be there. Oh my God. I'm also really dramatic. So maybe that was that too. So you saw this like thing crawling at you in a park? Yeah, but you're that not supposed be to be there at night, so. And you, you're sure it wasn't an animal? I swear. I was in high school, I was home alone, and I was doing a snap video. And in the snap video, there's this black like figure in the background, and it's moving while I'm talking on Snapchat. And everyone's like, what's that, what's that? And I'm like, oh, it's my shadow, but I have hair. And the thing, the shadow didn't have any hair. And it was moving in an opposite direction. So I freak out, I lose my mind, I call my cousins, and I'm like, come get me, come get me. So I was showing it to a ton of people that were like, we don't believe in ghosts at school. And I'm like, look, 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 look. And then it just deleted itself out of my phone. And I don't know where it's at still, but that was, that was, that was terrifying. And we put salt on the front yard, because in Louisiana, like when there's ghosts, you like put salt on the Smart. ground. So my mom started like putting salt everywhere. Yeah. There we go. Great. I went upstate with my friend, and she's really into witch and like witch stuff. So she brought like salt and everything, and then like her candles and stuff like that. So it was really dark, and we were in the woods, and she was doing like a spell. She said, and then we just heard like noises all around. It didn't sound like an animal. It didn't spell like. It didn't sound like an animal noise. It sounded like someone was saying something to us, like they said her name. And then she started to run away from me. And I was, she just left me there. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, really? Wow. Wait, your but, friend just left you? Yeah. To die? She just left me. <laughs> but nice. We're still cool. <laughs> OK, so when I was a kid, I kept having these weird dreams about like this little girl who like wanted to kill me for some reason. And then my friends and I were on like a ghost hunting website. It was like submissions. And the exact same girl from my nightmare was just on the photo. So I was like, OK, what? And my mom went to see like a medium. And one of the first things she said is, you know, your kid is like gifted, right? Like you shouldn't have had to come to me because she can like sense things. So I've been to like haunted places like the Lambert Castle that I don't even know are haunted. And I just stand there. I'm like, did someone die here? Or is this place haunted? So it's like, OK, <laughs> kind of sensitive to spirits. There you go. So a few years ago, I was sleeping over at my friend's house. And we're all outside playing manhunt. It's middle school. It's a cool thing to do. Um, and we're all playing manhunt outside and we all end up coming inside and you know we hear knocking outside and I'm like well who do we leave outside so someone goes outside to check and she doesn't come back for a while so we all go outside to go look for her come back in and someone's name was written on the wall like some man's name was written on the wall and we didn't know where it came from it was really strange oh my god and we never slept over her house again oh so <laughs> that, yeah that's safe. yeah oh god Damn. If they've had zero experiences, they're out of here. <sighs> so, this is really awkward. I hate doing this. But, uh, sounds like you guys all had experiences, so I can't go on who didn't have an experience. So, my reasoning is just who had the most specific or who didn't have the most specific. So, I'm gonna have to go with you. I'm sorry. Maybe it was because you're first, but you just. I know, I everyone so had a very, very specific story. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I feel so sad. so sad. <laughs> I just got eliminated, guys, and I don't know how I'm feeling about it, but we're here now, and I don't know, he's missing out on a great girl, a great time. Let's just go for like a coffee or something. I can't do the ghost stuff, I really can't. So my question is, what is the most embarrassing thing has ever happened to you or that you've done? When I was younger, I was at a holiday party. Uh, I was walking and me and the dog intersected and I flipped and did a whole 360. Oh, nice. When I was like eight, I was at a Halloween party at my aunt's house and I thought I saw my dad from across the room because he was wearing scrubs for his costume because he was like a real life medic. Um, so I ran over and I was like super tiny so I just gave him a hug around the waist and I looked up to say hi dad and that was not my father. Oh God! Um, <laughs> so, That's funny. Terrible. So every so often, I cut my own bangs and I dye my hair and I do all these things. And for my senior year portrait, I dyed my hair black. Well, I have it now, but it was a traumatic thing because I was blonde. Oh. I dyed my hair black and I cut my bangs way too short. Oh god! And I was just like, for the picture? senior year. Yeah, because I was like, oh, I want my kids to see this at some point. Mm -mm. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> 
So I like to think I have a high tolerance for embarrassment, but when I was 10 years old, we were playing cops and robbers, and it was like everyone in the neighborhood, and I was a cop, so I had like a little plastic water gun, and I was like that. And this kid threw a huge like workout size ball at my face, and it cracked, shattered, and then like dug a hole in my face, so then I had to get stitches, and they shaved off my eyebrow, which is one of my best traits, so it's oh, oh man. God. <laughs> Okay, so when I was six, seven, um, I went with my friend's family to their church. And they taught in Sunday school that Mary prayed and had a baby. So I went home and I was like, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. I'm like six and I'm saying I'm pregnant. And my mom's like, you need to stop saying that. Why do you keep saying that? And I was yeah. like, well, I prayed and so I know I'm gonna have a baby. And it was, well, they videoed it. So now it's like the most embarrassing thing because when they want a clown, they're like, oh, look, it's they you. They blackmail you with that. Yeah. <laughs> One day I was grocery shopping with my dad and he told me to go out to the car to get his wallet or something. So I went out and then I saw two cars that looked exactly the same as my dad's car. Oh, so God. I forgot exactly where it was. And I went into the other car that was not his car. So I was like pulling at the car the whole time. Like it's not opening. And then the guy came out of the car and he was like, I just ran over. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so my best friend and I were watching like a community high school was doing a production and we were needed somewhere unexpectedly last minute. So she's like, oh my God, you know, swearing. She's like, we gotta get up, we gotta go. So I'm like, okay, be quiet. I don't want to disturb the performance. And I forgot there were stairs and I tripped and fell on them. And the worst part is everyone stopped what they were doing, including the people on stage to look Aww. and laugh at me. But I was laughing it up as I was getting up. I'm like, I'm good, I'm good. So That's I like laughed it off, but I'm like, I stole the show. Oh God. I felt so bad for the performers. That's rough. So when I go to work, there's always this car that parks next to me. And I thought I saw the person get out one day and I was like, okay, like they're cute. So I was trying to be old fashioned. I was like, let me leave a note on their car. So I go and I leave the note on their car and, you know, I don't hear back. I put my Snapchat on it and whatever and um, I leave the note and I see who added me on Snapchat and it's some old man that works in my store. And I'm like, no, that's oh. not what I wanted. Oh. <laughs> so it was the wrong car. It was the wrong oh guy. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm. They're comfortable being humiliated. Mm -hmm. Then they'll be comfortable with, with anything because I humiliate a lot of people. Yeah, this is purely based off my opinion of things that I would deem the least embarrassing out of all the stories. But I'm probably gonna have to go with the car pulling story from Imani. Oh. <sighs> it was embarrassing. Oh, no. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Feels so bad. <laughs> I mean, I've had a lot of embarrassing stories, but that one was the first one that came to mind. So I just said that one. I don't think they made the right decision because I'm a pretty good girl, but he's missing out on all of this. So this is a scenario. You have to live on an island for a year. You get all the food you want, you get all the water, you're fine, but you're gonna stay there for a year. What's the one thing, can't explain why, but what's the one thing you're gonna take? I would take my camera. My dog. All right. My bathing suit. There you go. My cat. Okay, <laughs> cat. I would take pictures of my memories that I do have. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so I actually do have one of those like swimmable mermaid tails that you put on. So I'd probably take that if it's a tropical island to like, you know, swim in the ocean as a mermaid. Cause what else are you gonna do if you're stuck there? That's a great answer. I definitely take my pet rabbit with me. Your pet rabbit? Yeah. What about Wait. like a lifetime supply of Chipotle? There you go. See, that's a unique answer. You know, I just got, if they answer differently, then you know they're cool. But if they just answer lame, you gotta kick them off the end. Okay, yeah, it can, it can be anything that's cool. I'm thinking, going for like uh, the most unique type of answers. And uh, I know Colby loves mermaids too, so. <sighs> Probably gonna have to go with the swimsuit. At least you need. That's okay. Thank you. It's so awkward. God dang it. <laughs> Why would we do this? Uh, uh. Off the island. So I just got voted off for wanting to bring my bathing suit to a tropical island. I know it's weird to say, but like, I don't want to mess up my good pair of clothes and like, what if the water has animals in it? You know, I want to wear my bathing suit. Kind of bummed that they didn't pick me, but I mean, there's always next time. 
So, Halloween is coming up. We want to know if you were to be on a date with Colby for Halloween, what would your couple's costume be? So I would choose a devil and angel. So Colby could be the devil and I could be the angel because my middle name is Angel. Hey, okay. That's pretty cool. We definitely do Beetlejuice and Lydia Dietz. Um, it's a go. power couple in <laughs> film and cinematography, I guess. Sounds good. I was thinking we could have an out, like a costume that's conjoined, either like cat dog or like <sighs> Siamese cat. So we could just bother people just being wow. like the, the width of two people and just bother people. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe like a hospital people, like I be a nurse, he be a doctor, bloody, like, you know, I don't know, what you call it? Procedure going wrong? Just okay. bloody mess. It's pretty scary. I think anything like superhero or super villain related, and I do know how to do special effects, so I'm really good with makeup. He would definitely have to be a cop, and I would be a robber, because I'm trying to steal his heart, so, you know. Oh, her with the lines. All right, all right. Whoa. She's taking stabs, all right. For Halloween, me and my bae wanted to, you know, do a, like a power duo couple outfit. Um, it would definitely be like the Tomb Raider girl and uh, Nathan Drake. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, maybe I'm just a big nerd. All right, again, no offense. I'm just going purely on the most cliche costume. So I'm probably having to go with the devil and angel. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> At least it's over now. I was a little bit nervous being up there. So, my question is, who is your favorite social media star? But don't tell me why, just give me a straight up answer. My favorite social media star is probably David Dobrik. My favorite social media star is probably the kitten lady, because she saves kittens. The kid lady. The Shane Dawson? Shane Dawson, conspiracy. Shane Dawson, all right, sounds good. Either pink stylist or made you look by Lex. Whoa. All right. My favorite social media star is definitely Pavlov the Corgi. Oh, all right. Are uh, they James Charles fans? Because I am. Especially after that James Charles picture on Twitter. My summer. favorite picture. Still think about that daily. I didn't know three of the channels, um, but then out of those three channels, two of them were Animal channels, gotta love animals. So the only channel I didn't know that wasn't an animal channel is Izzy's. Sorry. Nice meeting, nice meeting. meeting you. Nice meeting you. Nice Thank you. Meet you. I'm really sad that like I didn't, you know, win because I think that we would have a lot in common. So if they ever need like a ghost hunting buddy, hit me up. I mean, I do know where to hide a body. I hope you'll never have to use that, but you're also missing out on like a cool mermaid, so. So my question is, do you believe in and follow like horoscopes and astrology stuff? Like your sign. So I do believe in them, I do follow them. It's not like a religious thing, but I'm aware of it. You're aware and you follow it? Like you read like your own I, horoscopes? I, I'm in Aries and I think I'm in Aries. Like I get that, it okay. makes sense. Okay. So I definitely believe in horoscopes to like a medium degree. Um, because when you think about it, we were all born at a specific certain time on the minute, and maybe the moon and the ocean and something plays an effect to who you are as a person. Okay. Okay, I'm a very spiritual person, so I do believe in horoscopes. In the beginning, I didn't really that much, but over time, everything seems coincidental or ironic, how certain people fit together with other people and certain people don't, and it's creepy but you can't say you don't believe in it because the facts are there, so yeah. I'm a Libra, by the way. I do believe in horoscopes, but I don't necessarily follow them all the time. If I do see something about you know me being an Aries, I will kind of not admit that it's true because being an Aries is being stubborn, so you know it's kind of like a catch-22. There you go. I just don't like people that are like, oh, you're a Taurus? Who? Because they're gonna be like, yeah, you gotta be this person, this person be compatible. It's like. You look at the stars. No, you don't. All right, so sad to say you guys all got the answer wrong. Uh, we do not believe in horoscopes. Colby hates horoscopes with a passion. So, I'm gonna have to pick from the people that believe in it the most. So, I'm, I'm thinking you guys. And we're talking about compatibility. 
and you were pointing out a lot about compatibility, like you can't be cert with certain people, and it just doesn't work out. So I'm probably gonna have to say that's probably the, the, the furthest away from his answers. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm about to have to uh, it. But uh, thank you. This is very stressful this and so sad, stressful. honestly. I don't think they made the right choice because I feel like had I been, had I, if I wasn't so afraid to like just be flat out, because everyone was saying they believed in horoscopes. So I was like, well, they're all hunty and into ghosts, so maybe I should just say I, I believe in horoscopes because that's the spiritual ghost thing. But nope, don't judge a book by its cover. I'm not disappointed. There's millions of people in the world population. There's somebody. The, uh, <laughs> Next question is, let's say you were not having a good time with your boyfriend. How would you break up with someone? The most creative way is probably gonna win. We're looking for standout answers. I mean, I guess I'd be like really honest, like brutally honest. We got pointing out flaws, we got <laughs> yelling, got PowerPoint screaming, slide. <laughs> whole presentation. All right, a presentation. So I'm not the best with confrontation and I don't like to hurt people's feelings. So I would bake a cake and in the cake, when you cut inside it, there's a note that just says, it's over. And then you can enjoy the cake while you're sad. I'll be sad somewhere else and so while it they should cry, work out. They can cry into the cake. Yeah, they can have I the like cake. That yeah. Too. That's pretty good. So there's this website where you can send someone an eggplant uh, with a note written on it. So I would probably send an eggplant um, and it also matches my shirt, so it's, you know, it's, it works out. It's a win-win. I have never heard of that before. <laughs> it's, that's pretty cool, too. Again, this is, this is for Colby. And, uh, <clears throat> he's a big fan of eggplants. He is, honestly, just a big fan of food in general, but not much of a fan of school and presentations. So I'm probably gonna have to go. Thank you. You missed out on a really good presentation. Come on. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> I thought that out of the other answers, it was like the harshest, so it made sense that they eliminated me. It's not their bad. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it that far, honestly, uh, but it was fun. All right, so the final question is you just have to convince me why would you be the best bae for my bestie, Colby Brock? <laughs> So I think I'd be perfect for Colby because I like to have a lot of fun and do weird random things. We can maybe go find an adult like ball pit or like go on some rides, like talk to random people. I don't know, do something odd. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. I think it'd be a great day for Colby because I'm super adventurous. I love dad jokes, so you'll never be unentertained. And I'm also a great photographer, so I'll hit you up with those good shots for the gram. Ooh. Okay. Both good answers. <sighs> Again. This is the big moment. This is the big moment. I don't want anyone to take offense to this. I am only sticking out for my friend Colby, and I feel like the needs and the wants that he wants would be best fulfilled by you, not Juliana. So oh sorry. Oh my Yay. God. He's always in need of more Instagram pictures because it's Colby. Yeah. Yay, Bye. nice to meet Bye. you Bye. too. Good to meet you. Honestly, I have no idea why I was eliminated. They were laughing at things I was saying, so I don't know. I thought I had a chance, but it's okay. On to the next. I'm pretty disappointed. They both seem like really cool guys, and I wanted to get to know them a little bit more besides knowing them from the YouTube videos. Ready? I'm ready to see my bay. Do I open my eyes too? Bring it in, bay. Aww. That's my bae. She has purple hair too. Purple, purple hair too? Me, we're, we're hair goals. First impressions, I like the hair. We're I like matching. Your hair. I like your style. <laughs> Very cool. She was um, with all the dad jokes. The dad jokes. All the, like, I like dad jokes. Yeah. And you're a photographer like too, a yes. right? Um, you're really cute. <laughs> and I love your hair and I think your tattoos are super cool. Thank I also you. have tattoos. Really? I can't see them. Right. Okay, okay. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like she's the most like me, so I feel like we're compatible. Yeah. So I feel like they'd be compatible. Are you trying to tell me something right now? My bestie picked my bae today. I was very surprised to see Sam and Colby today. It was definitely a great surprise, though. 
I am a fan, not a huge fan, not like a super crazy fan, but. Oh, I'm just kidding. Now more of a fan though. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's cool. There were definitely a few times where I thought I was gonna be eliminated, for sure. Definitely the question about the, um, the Halloween costumes, because I didn't know if it was gonna be too cheesy or if it was gonna be appreciated. Which one was so, that? Which one did you do? The one with the, the cop and the robber. Okay, I like yeah. that, I like that. So. <laughs> I think she's awesome. I'm glad that she was the bae that my bestie picked. <laughs> my bestie picked my bae. That's a true statement. Today. I think she's cool. She's awesome. I like her hair a lot. Um, she's cool. I'm glad she's a photographer because I need those Instagram pictures. You know there what I'm you saying? go. But like, yeah, she's cool. I like it. So I was bummed when the girl uh, that could hide the dead bodies was eliminated because she was pretty, you know, that's pretty awesome. That's a, the skill you need to have. The hardest part was honestly the entire video. That was yeah. painfully awkward every second of that and I felt horrible. I just literally had to tell nine girls that they are not good enough for my best friend. That was a horrible. I feel so bad, so sorry. They're all great. Th this will be by far, hands down, the hardest video out of everything we've ever done. Because I could go hunt ghosts, but seeing these girls getting the life sucked out of them was the most sad thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, I'm gonna think about that every night. It was an interesting experience. I don't know. Now that you've done this, would you ever do a dating show? Maybe if I was the contestant. You know what I mean? But, but I, that was a weirder position to like sit and just not be able to like see or talk to anybody and like Yeah, just think go about me though. Yeah. I had to I literally tell them, go home. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah guys, thanks for watching. We actually have a haunted series called Stranded coming out on Snapchat very soon. Also be sure to subscribe to 17's YouTube channel down because below. Because they have an episode, a spooky version of this bestie coming out next week.